day guys welcome back it's resin day today and I've got my little four coaster mold ready to go this is the one with my rock edges uh, the resin I'm using today is stone coat countertops heat resistant and um, I've got about a third left I'm gonna order some more because I've decided if I'm gonna make coasters why use anything that's not heat resistant yeah and scratch resistant it doesn't make sense so i'm going to have a few more plays with the um stone coat it is a much thicker resin to what i'm used to i've got this sitting in hot water to try and get rid of some of the bubbles look it's very bubbly um but yeah the, i think the ones that are very uh, temperature or heat resistant maybe they are just more bubbly thicker anyway don't know um, I thought I'm gonna try some navy blue and some of this bluey silver and some of the shimmery white with some silver flakes so that's what I'm gonna do today they look nice together the navy is from Archery Creations it's called deep as you right and I'll put uh, probably that's probably about a level spoon if I had to level it I don't want too much of it it's just going to go around the outside and I'm going to wipe my little spoon over here so that I can use it again dip it in the next color this one is from LBB resin they sent it to me a sample it's called blue lagoon they sent me a few colors so I'm trying them all out this one I thought would look really nice with the navy blue because they're not they're both not like bright blues. Let me just take this lid off. It's, it's more of a it's more of a silver blue, I guess. Really pretty. Now I want more of that, so I'll put a bit of a little bit more of that one in. It's probably a heaped spoon. That's that one. I don't actually have, I've got lots of blues, but I don't have anything in that particular shade. So looking forward to trying that one. And then I've got from Art Tree Creations, uh, Icicle Shimmer. I don't know whether it's actually a white or whether it's just a, um, like a glitter. I, I don't know. I have a heap teaspoon of that as well. And I'm trying for a clear center as usual. So I don't mind if it has a bit of a glitter in it. And my thought was, if I use a resin that's a little bit thicker, then um, maybe the top won't you know, close over as quickly. You know how I had trouble with the other resins and I poured them and the tops just closed over and uh, I lost my clear center. I'm just torching the bubbles. I'm gonna take that out of the water now, let, it, let the cup dry. Um, I don't know whether it's done much. Oh, the bubbles are smaller. I've got to give it that. Right. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silver in here. It's a bit tricky with gloves on. Just going to make sure that everything's broken up. Don't put any big blobs of silver in, like pieces that are all stuck together. These look as if they're pretty much separated. And I'm going to turn that into a paste. So let's pour the resin some in there uh, probably about um, maybe a third of a cup for that one because that's the outside half a cup for that one half a cup for this one And then this cup's for my clear, but I will need more than one cup for the clear. So I'll just leave the rest in there because it's too hard to pour if um, you make your cups too, too full. I wonder if that's enough. Uh, these aren't quite half full yet. These are 120 ml cups, which is four ounces. I might have to add some more resin to this. I don't want it to be too, too clumpy. 
add a little bit more just so it's got a little bit of fluidity to it and then give it a really good stir so that all those silver flakes are nicely broken up and there's no big clumps so that's that one I dripped let me get a baby wipe clean up as I go this is really good I'm, I'm just using this um, baking non-stick baking sheet thing that I bought um, yeah happy with it it's better than the um, baking paper that I was using because <laughs> I just had a sheet of baking paper on and then when it got really dirty uh, I would just chuck it but it lifted it made noises it crinkled and <laughs> um, so um, yeah this is much better and if I spill anything on it I can just wipe it off nothing sticks to it so I think that's great look at that color so pretty I think it'll go really nicely with this color let's mix that up now a good thing I've noticed about using this thicker resin like normally when I would stir like that with the thinner resins the mica powder would kind of float up kind of hit me in the face <laughs> but because this resin is so thick it basically traps the mica powder down so it doesn't fly away nearly as much as the others do so I'm going to have a little practice with the stone coat. Make sure that I'm happy with it. Make sure that it gives me the good striations that I want. Um, and then I'll order more of that. And I'm slowly going to use up my other resins that I've got. And only order the ones that you know I really want to use. I will keep using the barns because I like the way it makes the um, my 3D flowers. The clarity. Not heat resistant though, so if I do coasters, I'm going to have to coat it in um, a heat resistant top coat. Whether it's this one, the stone coat, or whether it's, um, what else have I got that's, yeah, I'm making a chart. Because some of the top coats, they leave that uh, resin bloom, you know, the blush, it looks like an oil slick. So, yeah, I'm slowly working my way through, trying to find a resin that's perfect for me and that I'm happy to buy more of. I don't need to stir you. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll just, you know, use a couple of resins. Right, let's get to this. Let me make sure I'm still taping. I'm paranoid now because it's turned off a couple of times. <laughs> my internal storage was full. So I'm going to try just to do a little ring. around the outside pinch my cup that's the good thing about these little paper cups you can pinch them to make a spout and uh, I thought I'll just do four you know the resin it's it's expensive and I hope I've got enough to do that extra ring there did I make enough? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I did. So yeah, I thought, oh, no, I don't think I've got enough. Um, yeah, just make four because, I mean, I, I don't sell, when I get better, I'll sell them, but I don't really sell them. Um, and I want to make sure they're all heat resistant and they're all good and no issues before I do sell them. So... Um, while I'm still practicing, I'll just do sets of four because it's, you know, you, you can still get your experiment done, um, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on the resin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let's stir that in. That was probably way too much for that little bit of resin that I just added. So really, I probably need half a cup. Oh, no, what did I do? A quarter, a third, a third. But see, it, because it's so thick, it pours a thick line. I didn't want it that thick, but because it is a thick resin, it's, um, it's a little bit tricky to pour a thin line. 
All right, let's see if I've got enough now to go around the outside. Try and fill in my little gaps and have it about the same width as the others. I think that's about the same. Isn't it? Okay, my little cup's empty now, so let's move that one to the side. Put my clear there, that way I can remember that I've still got it. Wipe up my drips as I go. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is put in a little bit. No, I don't. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to save the clear for the middle. Rather than put some down now. So I'm going to put a puddle. I didn't shut my studio door. Because <laughs> I've got Holly in here with me and I thought, oh, she might like to come, in, come and go. Hello, Holly, my little cavoodle. So I'll leave the studio door open and she can come and go as she pleases. Is that about the same? I think this one needs a bit more. These two are already touching the sides. They probably don't need any more. I'm trying to squeeze my cup. It's not going to make any difference. <gasps> not. Okay, so that one's empty. Now, this little shimmery one. As I said, I don't know whether it's actually got a colour or whether it's just a very, very fine glitter. I don't know. But I thought it would just be pretty with these two. Um, now, actually, what I'm going to do is, because I want an even design I'm going to push that so that it's touching the other color otherwise I find I don't get the same design right through the coaster if one side's touching and one's not so I'll just do that these are the things that I was you know remembering to tell myself that I've been learning along the way See it? See how thick it is? It doesn't sort of fall back straight away and cover in the little hole that I made. It's pretty thick resin. I think when I initially started using this, testing it, because um, I like to demold or unmold the next day, and it was still a bit soft and bendy the next day, and then I thought, oh, I don't like that. So then I kind of moved on to another resin, but I have learnt that along the way that I think it's better to have it slightly bendy the next day. Um, Rather than um, rather than, and have that heat resistant, you know. I think that's more important. I have stripped into my blue. I need to do that to catch the drips. I don't think I want to put too much of this in. I might not even use all of that. It looks as if it might take over. I dripped just there. Now we'll start filling these babies up with the clear, and just pour some clear into the centre. And let that push out. I'm going to just fill up my little cup. Well, I'll half fill it. And I'll do that to all of them. So I like how it pushes out and then when it pulls back in again, it makes a pretty design. Although, the downside of that is when it pulls back in, um, sometimes it covers your centre with the blue. That you've got around the edge and that's what I kind of didn't want I was trying to keep the clear center but we'll see what happens because it is a thicker resin we'll see it maybe that won't happen hey so I just need to leave a little bit of space for my silver oh I forgot to do my heart oh never mind I haven't got any resin left now to do my heart never mind I'm heartbroken <gasps> I should have been torching I should have been torching because it's thick, it's bubbly. Oh, I forgot. I get so carried away with what I'm doing. I forget to torch. All right, let's torch. And then um, that silver can just sit there for a minute. Oh, how pretty are these? Wow. 
So I think I'll pour a little bit more clear in in a minute. Just let that settle. Lots and lots of bubbles. All right, I might wait till they come to the surface and then I can torch again. Um, and then when it's had a chance to kind of settle a little bit, I'll put the silver in. But you can see, see how the blue gets pulled across the top? I wonder if it's, oh, see, I don't know whether I should do the silver, the, do the rest of the clear now and then leave it. Or do I wait until it's all kind of settled and then pour the clear in, but then it'll push it all out again and maybe ruin my design, hey? I'm going to put some more in. Just bring it up almost to the top. Have to be careful and make sure I don't overflow anything. Okay, still got some left. Maybe I didn't need to make up 380 grams. Uh, although. Let's have a little look. I'm going to look across the top and see which ones are, are full and which ones aren't. If I look across from here over that way, because I've got a window just there, I look across the top and I can see which ones need a bit more. This top one's pretty full. I can't do any more in that one. Uh, otherwise it will overflow because I need just a tiny little bit of room left for my silver. These ones can do with a little bit more. Now I'll stand back and have a look at that. See how that's looking. Mm, this one can have a little bit more. Just do it slowly, you'd hate to overflow. Stand back here again. All right, now this one, this is the only one that can take a little bit more. The others are all pretty much full to the top. I don't know if um, Stone Coat is a doming resin. This one's really full. <laughs> I hope it doesn't overflow. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a doming resin or not. You know how it kind of makes a dome on the outside there? It's got a little bit of clear left. And I've got my, um, my silver. I kind of don't know if I want to use the silver. I actually really like them just the way they are. I'm, I'm going to have a think about that. I might just leave them because I'm getting this gorgeous um, kind of glittery glossy clear center with a little bit of blue on it I might just leave them you know there's a couple of little blobs in the bottom there I'm just wondering if maybe I didn't stir my white properly looks a bit I don't know if you can see it this looks a bit blobby because I do know that if you have to stir your mica powder really, really well, don't you? Otherwise it kind of floats to the surface or it drops to the bottom. And then when you turn your coaster upside down, you go, oh, look, there's all my mica powder that I didn't stir properly. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to leave these, you guys. I'm not going to um, do anything with them. What I think I will do, though, is to, like, to save this. I'm going to make little um, centers out of it. It's uh, been about an hour. I decided I'd put silver, a little blob of silver in these back too because they seem to have a lot of movement, like the top was closing over a little bit. So I added some silver. I don't really like the composition of these two, like they're, they're not symmetrical and I like things symmetrical. Like if they're gonna come in from the sides, all do it together in the same way like this one's a little bit better so leave I left these two with no silver in the middle but I just I just don't like how they're not symmetrical it does my head in but look at the sparkle see the sparkle in the center there that's I like that I probably actually prefer them to the silver but yeah just really don't like that composition what they're doing like coming in from the edges at different different angles and yeah but anyway uh we'll see what happens tomorrow i don't know whether that's maybe that's got something to do with the resin normally when 
I use other resins and they all come in from the side. So they come in together at the same time, you know, as it should be. <laughs> but um, that one's still pretty. I do like that. So anyway, we'll see. I'll, we'll, we'll unmold them tomorrow and, and see how they look. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, everyone. It's the next day. And it's time to take these out. Now, um, I really don't like the effect that I'm getting from these. And as you can see, still bendy the next day, which is what I said earlier about the stone coat. I mean, it does give a nice heat resistant, scratch resistant sort of finish. Look at that. It's really nice and shiny and glossy. But I just, I don't like the composition. I'm trying to get it here so that I can show you without any reflections in it. It's just, it just doesn't look nice to my eye. Let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, no, no better. Backs always like that for me. I, I don't like them. So that's, I got the same thing on these when I did the, um, the purple and the the copper ones and I didn't I didn't really like the um, finished look on that either just kind of there's no symmetry to it you know some parts pull in more from the outside than the others that was also stone coat I went back and looked at the stone coat ones now these ones here and cameras reflecting into it now, you can see the difference. See how it's symmetrical. Everything's been pulled in from the edges equally. Now, that's what I like. So I've got a whole set of those, which turned out really, really pretty. Oh, am I, why am I getting a camera reflection in these today? I'll stand further back. There we go. So that's the, that's the look that I'm after. And that's the look. I'm not after okay so I've done it twice now with the stone coat so I think that's enough experimenting I, I don't like the way it gives us striations in saying that I'm quite happy to use a different resin like the Barnes clarity which gives me the nice striations I, I like and then top coat with the stone coat so this one I top coated with the Delcom anyway enough of that let's take the rest out but yeah, not not loving it. There's a little octopus or something in the cave there. <laughs> I don't know. Now these two, I didn't put the silver in because I wanted the clear center. So you can see my, my finger there underneath. I'm going to have to change where my camera is. I don't like this reflection this morning. So I do like, I do like the... Um, the way it's kind of got those little crystals in the center there but that's about it so these won't be a keeper i've got my the same colors set up over there ready to go again with a different resin i'll put the cam i'll put this um, video up anyway just so that people can see like the different effects you get from the different resins um you know it's not like my table moved or anything it's level it's the same level as when I did these. It's just just a different different resins give you different effects. So yeah, so I can't say I'm very happy with those. But uh, moving on, I will I will set them up. Um, actually, no, I probably won't. I'm not going to bother wasting my silver on the edges on them. I'll just take a photo and put it up for you. All right, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye for now.